some of the examples I'm going to uh, use uh, talk to my age. Um, and so this was when I was about nine years old. Uh, the, the, uh, the world record for the, uh, the four minute barrier was, uh, was succeeded. And this is what Bannister broke the four minute barrier, running the distance in three minutes, 59.4 seconds. As part of his training, look at this, he relentlessly visualized the achievement in order to create a sense of certainty in his mind and body. Now, they said he couldn't do it. They said, uh, they said things like, the body was not created to go that fast. The body can't have enough oxygen. There are, there are parts of the body that can break down if you try and go through a four minute barrier. Within a, within a few years of him breaking the four minute barrier, Everyone was doing it. All the top sports, all the top athletes, runners were doing this, this kind of thing. So one of my, I was actually listening to this on the radio as a nine-year-old as he did this. One of the things that I'm going to go into here is the notion of learning. It was talked a little bit about uh, by the previous speaker. And this is a, a thing that speaks to it. There's something about the importance of learning uh, for all people, but especially uh, athletes and sports people in general. The illiterate of the 21st century will not be those who cannot read and write, but those who cannot learn, unlearn, and relearn. The Yeah. 